The Packers will take the snap from the 25. Here's Boykin. Games 16. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. They'll take it at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Jackson takes it out right. Still on his feet. Breaks out of the tackle. Still not taken down. Games 16. It's been a tough game overall for this team. And you look at the rushing totals, and that lines up with their overall performance. The rushing totals say it all. In NFL, in college, anywhere you go in football, the most physical team usually wins, and that usually means the one that's running the well. Brings it into his body. Tackle, and this will be a new set of downs. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Nice piece of running. And the flag is down. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense. I'm not first down. They face first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Play fake. And now Ryan's going to take off. Touchdown, Falcons. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. Catches it at the nine and starts his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Packers now will start their drive at the 23. Split backfield here. First and ten. They'll go ground. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. The Packers came away as tough luck losers last time out, and today has been a problem for them just to try to stay in this game, Phil. Yeah, it has been. And after last week's emotional loss, what you do as a coach, you come out in the next game and you change tactics to give your team confidence and get them going. They didn't do that. That's why they're having such a hard time here today. He's taken down at the 42. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Third down and three. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Well, quarterbacks know on third down they got to make a decision and get rid of that football because the defense, they are coming after you. That time, just not good enough, and he throws an incompletion. And not a favorable bounce this time as it's headed to the end zone for a touchback. First down on the way. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. Gets the handle here, and a gain of four. 
The Falcons have really been able to run the ball today. That's been a huge reason why they lead. Jackson's been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, but it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keep running right at it. And he takes off. Hurries the throw. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job in him. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Sure, ready to punt. The fake is on, and they're looking to pick up the first. Sticks to his hands. Taken down at the 45. This is an awesome job by the head coach, the offensive coordinator, and the offense. Just keep picking up those first downs. You got a big lead here in the second half. Keep that clock running. First and 10. They'll go ground, trying to plow ahead. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Falcons have stayed with the run game today, and it's been a big part of their game plan. Jackson's been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they have done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside, draw plays. Everything is working for this running game today, and it's been impressive to watch. Burnett's there to take him down. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Takes it from the eye. Tackle made by Peppers that time. Second down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Toss to the outside. And a flag comes out. First down coming up. The defense comes out of the dime. Ryan's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Finds his mark. Well, I tell you, it's getting ugly out here. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on to that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. Inside of the uprights. The Packers' return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The score is 35 to 0. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Packers. Get ready to start their drive. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Now first and ten. On the money. They bring him to the turf. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, but you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. Adams is in the slot. Throws the pass. Here's Boykin. He's brought to a halt. 
This is third down. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. On the way, third down. They've come out in the dime package. Down the field. Airing it out down the field. There's a receiver there, and the catch is made. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. The defense gets a sack. Second down coming up. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Snap it out of the gun. Ball's loose. They recover their own fumble. They recover the fumble, but still face third down. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Rodgers from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. A takeaway. Nice tackle. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Game's five. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Split backfield here. Jackson's taking the handoff. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Jackson's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Rodgers is in the backfield. First down and 10. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's got some daylight. Second down now. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. The Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. First down here after the run. The Packers sat at the line. Dime package. Still powering ahead. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Boy, it must be hard just to knock the football down. That time he's in good position because you know the defender wanted to go for the interception, but he played it smart and knocked it down instead. Let's go. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Second down and 10. Play action. Ryan can't find a man that time. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. The Packers go with the dime formation here on defense. Third and 10. The give out of the eye. He stacked up at that point. The Falcons call a timeout and are left now with only one. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. Going to need a lot of leg on this field goal try. No good. An empty trip for the offense. We are so late in the season now, and it's all the more impressive to see these guys go out here and get another win to keep the undefeated year going.
They have so many good players and so many ways they can win games, Jim. That's why they're undefeated. But what they're going to notice this week, going to be a lot more reporters hanging around their locker room because this undefeated thing, it's just going to keep building. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today, there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's Jones's Falcons going up against Brown Steelers. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 15 matchup. Steelers and Falcons on EA Sports as we get set for today's Week 15 matchup. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and a storybook matchup here today with an unbeaten time to take on a big challenger. Yeah, we do. In Week 15, you think you can still be undefeated. And, you know, the pressure it builds. And the pressure, what I mean by it is the distractions. They're everywhere. That's all anybody wants to talk about. Can you handle them? I think this team can. They are very good. And Devin Hester will be back deep for the opening kickoff. And Sean Sweezum looks ready to get this one underway. again today he connected on over 60 percent of his throws last week first down here Matt Ryan under center takes off with it Secures it with two hands. Brought down at the 38. 
Well, a couple things on that play. Of course, it's a nice job by the quarterback getting out of trouble and throwing the football on run and getting the completion. But how about the defense? Quit being greedy. Stay in your rush lanes and don't let the quarterback get out. First and ten. Gives it to Steven Jackson. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. That leads us to second down. We'll throw it over the middle. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. When you talk about this defense, you know they've been game planning all week long to face Lawrence Timmons. Yeah, Lawrence Timmons can play inside linebacker. He can play outside linebacker. He's tall, rangy, and he is an excellent blitzer. Tries to get the feet down, but this will be ruled incomplete. I think the coach has got to call more of these plays. That's a good job of at least trying to get the big play, but they cannot get the completion on that long throw. Needed plenty of leg on that one. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. No return this time, and Roethlisberger will come back out at the 20. Roethlisberger is the man in charge of the offense here today as he continues to be the starting quarterback now in his 11th season. First down at the 20. Brown's got the catch and the first. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They'll run it here, and the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Here's a look at the Steelers' offense. Last week, they never turned the football over once. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. Bell's going to take it on the counter. Here's how the Falcons defend. We're talking about the best in the league as a unit when it comes to getting to the quarterback. Third down and 11. And he's forced to the ground. You got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down, and they get back to the quarterback and take him down. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. They come to the line, and it's first down. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Screen. He makes the catch. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Falcons won in a runaway last week, Bill, and now they're going to try to win one that's going to come down to the wire. I think all the teams in the league know when you're sharp, you're going to win the game, so that's the easy way to win. But can you find a way to win when your football team is not as sharp? We're going to find out. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. Wide receivers are bunched up. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. 
looking across the middle. Ryan over to Jones. Jones taken down at the 46. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed a pass, but it still did not get a first down. Heading to the line for a third down play, and this was something they specialized in last week, converting in these situations. Jackson takes his spot in the backfield. Will run it. Here's the handoff. He's brought down. Third and short. I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. But it's incomplete. And here we have second down. Offense lines up here with drop back. He's scrambling down. And that's a gain of maybe five. Third down on the way. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think, so look out. Offense lines up here. And now here's the toss. In on the stop. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Play fake. Pulls it in. Olamalu's there to make the tackle. Well, they get down in the red zone. The offense throws the pass. It is completed, but it doesn't do much. Give the defense a lot of credit. Everybody stayed where they were supposed to be, and the pass is completed, and they make the tackle. And off May. Rock for a loss on that play. The Steelers' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line, and they tackle the runner for a loss. The offense is back on the field here for this fourth and sixth play. The Steelers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Catch made. That picks up 11. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass they did that time marching down the field and taking their time brought down by Timmons the Steelers defensive coordinator he's going to be happy with the results there he was guessing run inside the red zone that's what he's got and they were ready for it and they gave up very little yardage half time two minutes away it's now second down Play after play after play here on this drive. What a drive this has been. Second and goal from Power Surge for six. Touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. The Steelers set to return the kick. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. First down here. The defense comes out in the dime. Finds his mark. 
is a gain of eight. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. No time to huddle down. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Third down. 